another point, another thing which is really important and helpful is to create the space before the sound. So, this means that when you inhale and you take the breath, it's not taking the breath and then creating the sound, uh, the space or the sound and organize yourself, but you organize already the space during the in, uh, inhalation. This means mm -hmm. that you let go mm, here and you create the conditions between your tongue, your soft palate and your pharynx, you open. And when you open, actually, you don't even almost need to breathe because <laughs> for gravity reason, yeah, mm -hmm. actually, the breath falls in you. So it's much better because you don't use these muscles, you know, to to suck, uh, understand the breath, <gasps> and you don't need to use also these muscles to to take the breath, but you just open, yeah? And then keep the space. So if you need to make, for example, this jump, yeah? Mm -hmm. For example, you create the space before. Focus again your mouth when you go down to the lower region, but the space, keep the space. Don't collapse. Can you try? Mm. Immediately space in mm. the inhalation. Better? Mm -hmm. More space. Yeah? And then you go. Try again. Better. How, how would it be without the space? Just to have an idea, just to become really aware of the consequences yeah, of your actions. What happens if you don't create the space, if you don't create the conditions before the sound? Let's say that you take the breath without creating this opening. How would it sound? Is it different? Yeah, it kind of feels like I'm hitting a yeah. ceiling. It's yeah, like... there is no space. Yeah. So, we should create the space before, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's not an opinion, it's a fact, right? So let's try to do it and let's try to englobe this. Huh? It should become really an automatic pilot. Just you take the breath and you create the space and hold it. And if you hold it, you also create compression because by holding the space, you create compression in your thorax. This means you're opening actually and keeping down your diaphragm. So you prepare also, also uh, the breath support. So it has really an impact on the whole singing. So it's a moment of organizing yourself before the singing, which is really, really, really essential. If you don't do this, it's very difficult to recuperate while you sing. So please take the breath, inhale in the, in the space and keep it. The moment you will hold it, it's like freezing. You will create a sort of a vacuum here, mm -hmm. which is what we need to sing, right? Did you like it? Better. Yeah. It was not hitting the... Uh, mm -hmm. You have just to be a tiny bit more uh, careful when you go down on the um, on some notes that you're losing. You have to be a bit more careful about the pitch, but the space is right. You want to do it once more and be careful when you go down. Uh, mm -hmm. When you go down, think of going up because your brain... <laughs> relaxes. He thinks, okay, I've done the mountain Everest, now I can relax. No. So think of actually remaining on the same plateau, mm -hmm. please. slower for your brain to control the nose, the pitch. Yeah. 
better. Mm. Uh, you see, it's possible. Uh? Mm -hmm. Very good. And now we can speed up uh, and try to do it uh, in uh, the real tempo. But this is the way to, to approach it. Very good. Brava. Mm -hmm.